Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Sauce. It's the backup channel, backing Celeb up and bringing you all the breaking news. Check this out. The other day, Young Nudie dropped a remix to his hit Peaches and Eggplants featuring Lotto and Sexy Red. And on the track, Lotto mentions Benzino in a bar. And she says, quote, give me that neck like Benzino. End quote. Now, after the song dropped, a whole bunch of fans thought Lotto was taking shots at Koi LeRae by aiming at her estranged father. Well, shortly after that, Lotto jumped online to explain her lyrics. Check out what Lotto had to say. Some of y'all needed a breakdown. Damn, I ain't gonna... Oh, yeah, I ain't doing no genius for a remix anyway. God, I'm finna say... I'm, I'm breaking it down without doing a genius, but I ain't doing no genius for that. <clears throat> it was only me and Zook in there. Yo, fancy underscore underscore, that's Zook. Let me let me tell let me let me break it down for the people that's not fast. I'm, I'm let me break it down for the people that's not fast. Uh said give me that net like Benzino. That mean if I if I say give me that, that mean it's took, right? That mean it's gone, right? I seen some people talking about, but he don't got no neck. That don't make sense. Keep up. Keep up. Yeah, this one right here is kind of confusing. Because she's saying that Benzino don't got no neck because she took it. And the people are saying you couldn't have took it because Benzino ain't never had no neck. I mean, it's like uh, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, anyways, after Lotto reminded the whole world that Benzino doesn't have a neck, Koyla Ray jumped on Twitter to share a text exchange that she had with her father Benzino over Lotto's lyrics. In the text message, Benzino says, quote, She admires you. They all do. Just stay focused. I got the most famous neck on earth. End quote. And then, after that, Koyla Ray responds back to her father by saying, quote, I love how these little stupid situations bring us together, haha, on a positive note. Hoping you having a good day. I love you. End quote. Listen, I'm just glad to see that Koyla Ray and Benzino are communicating and that their relationship is getting better. And I love the fact that she said I love you to her father when she was ending that text message. Listen, let me know if you think that Benzino is right. Do you think that the reason why Lotto is coming at Koyla Ray is because she admires her? Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, check this out. The other day, a chick named I Am The Sabrina Effect jumped on TikTok and said, quote, it's unacceptable for women to go to any upscale event or even a club with a bare face. I don't care how pretty you think you are with the bare face. We all think we're beautiful with a bare face, right? But there's a time and place for a bare face. Not everyone is bare face susceptible, end quote. Sabrina went on to say that women who don't put on makeup need to grow the hell up. Sabrina said, quote, grow up, learn how to do makeup. Yes, you may be beautiful, but the club is not the time nor the place for the no makeup look, end quote. Well, after Sabrina said that, a debate broke out online between the makeup wearing women and the women who don't feel that they need to wear the makeup. And one person said, quote, grown women get it. She's not talking about to regular spots, but occasions like weddings. You need to do your makeup, end quote. And then somebody else came through and said, quote, sounds like a personal problem to me, end quote. And then somebody else came through and said, quote, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you are the problem, end quote. Eh, I mean, it all depends on what your face looks like. If you walk into a haunted house at Great Adventures and you come out with a paycheck, you may need some makeup. But if you're a halfway good looking chick with like a dewy glow, you may not. It all depends on what you're working with. Because there are some women who can come outside with a bare face that'll put some of you women with the beat face to shame. Listen, let me know what you think about this chick saying that women who don't wear makeup to the club need to grow the hell up. Let me know what you think in the comments. And while you're down there leaving a comment, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel.
Now, in other news, Math Hoffa has put Kodak Black on blast for collaborating with Takashi 69 on the track Shaka Laka. When discussing Kodak in particular, Math Hoffa said, quote, integrity for sale. You put this image out there and your art is a representation of you. I kind of agree with Boozy on this. You sold your A for a million dollars. Like somebody could come to you with a price and probably have some fun with you in a dark room. You know what I mean? It's effed up. But if you stand for something, you stand on it. I don't give a F what type of money is offered. You stand on it. End quote. Let me tell you something. Math Hoffa is preaching to the choir. Because apparently none of these other cats out in the street are listening. Because have you seen how many people were at like Gunner's concert? I mean the concert was sold out. If these people had an issue with somebody snitching, nobody would be in the audience. But apparently they don't care. There's no code like there used to be. So dudes like Kodak and 6 9 I mean they like to rap about the code, they like to talk about the code, they like to get rah-rah over the code, but there's no code. I mean this generation has single-handedly changed the saying, snitches get stitches, into snitches get platinum albums. So, even though I agree with Math Hoffa, Math Hoffa and like Boozy need to understand something. Some of these young rappers out here, not all of them, but some of them, just don't care. Integrity is not a factor, and they'll sell out they mama, they mama's mama, and they mama's grandmama just to get that bag. And then, circle the block and come back and try to sell out your mama too. I mean, it's sad, but it is what it is. Yo, let me know what you think about Math Alpha saying that Kodak Black is a sellout for doing a song with Takashi 69 which makes Kodak Black the type of dude that would probably let somebody have fun with him in a dark room for the right price. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Now, peep this. On Sunday, Krishan Rock attended church services at the Spirit of Faith Christian Center in her hometown of Baltimore, where she brought her newborn son, Krishan Malone Jr., to be blessed by Pastor Michael Freeman before she headed back home to LA. Well, during the live stream of the baby's dedication to Christ ceremony, Krishan revealed that a newborn baby's son's middle name is Jesus. Wow. I don't even know what to say, because you know what that means. That means that Blueface has given birth to Jesus. Oh my goodness. I don't even, like, I'm so confused right now. I feel like I need to go get baptized again, just because those words came out of my mouth. I mean, I know that people do it. I know they name their kids like Jesus Johnson and Jesus Jenkins, but I personally would not feel comfortable naming my kid Jesus. But that's just me, because I can't see myself ever saying like, Jesus, get your little behind over here. I mean, that just doesn't work for me. But, I mean, to each his own. Listen, let me know what you think about Blueface and Krishan Rock giving their newborn baby the middle name, Jesus. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. And while we're talking about naming the kids, check out why Columbus Short said that he named his son Denzel. Check this out. And I'll tell you this quick, little quick, small story about Denzel. Denzel, I, why did I name my son Denzel? My son's name is Denzel. Word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Denzel, he kept a little nigga. Like, he kept making me feel like a little nigga. He, he, had, you, he had you in training. You was training today. You was the white boy in training today. He kept doing that to me. For real? So finally, I was like, boom. I mean, I'm just truncating the story. <clears throat> when my son was about to be born, I was like, man, my wife was like, what, what do we name our son? I was like, Denzel. Because mm. why? Because now he's my little nigga. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's deep. I mean, was it? Was it really deep? Listen, after Columbus Short said that story, somebody came in the comment section and they were like, that Denzel story was the dumbest thing I ever heard. And then somebody replied to their comment and was like, you wasn't feeling what he was saying? And then the first person came back and was like, not at all about Denzel tried to son him. Denzel nearly 70 years old and a legend. And then naming his son Denzel so he could belittle his son out of spite is crazy. Yes, I agree. That story or that statement or comment, I don't know what it was, was very weird. But on to the next story. Joe Buttons says that Cardi B in like Megan Thee Stallion's new song Bongos is whack. And it sounds like a song that was made by two women who don't know how to make a song. 
When talking about bongos, Joe Budden said, quote, The hook is not hooking for me. There's nothing in it to make me stay. One. And two, this commercialized ratchet has passed. It's ghetto ratchet time. And neither one of them are ghetto ratchet on this song. We need a Bodak Yellow now. This sounds like two women who can't make a song. End quote. I mean, is there really a difference between commercialized ratchet and ghetto ratchet? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, ratchet is ratchet. And I'm telling you, I sat down and listened to this darn song, and as far as I'm concerned, it's nothing more than ear porn. And I'm so tired of the ear porn. I mean, for real. You mean to tell me that these two so-called hip-hop artists, aka rap stars, got together in the studio and couldn't come up with anything better than putting their P on the D and then backing it up and getting the D put back in the P? I mean, really, this is beyond sad at this point. And I'm starting to really get frustrated with these female rappers because they all appear to be one-trick ponies. I mean, I really need their ghostwriters to do better. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me know what you think about Joe Budden's critique of Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion's new song, Bongos. Do you think that he's correct in the hook? ain't hooking? Let me know what you think about that in the comments. And hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celebrity news. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.